What's a fin fillet? That's what I'm going to cover in this edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today we're going to put on the fin fillets on the Blue Streak rocket kit that we're building. Um, in our last video I had glued the fins on using this fin jig um, and now I'm pulling it off being careful not to twist things because if I twist it I'll snap the fins right off. Uh, the purpose of the fin fillets is to make the joint stronger and to smooth out the aerodynamic flow so make the rocket go higher. Uh, right now the fins are just glued on and notice how thin they are and they're just butt joint glued to the tube. A butt joint is one edge just attached to the tube. This is the weakest joint you can have so we want to add a fin fillet which is kind of like a little fairing of glue that gives more surface area. So the, the thicker the surface area, the wider it is, the stronger it is. And that's one of the purposes of the, of the uh, fillet. Uh, now this again, I'm going to use just wood glue. Um, in high power rockets, they, they all often use epoxy because it's even stronger than wood glue. But for a small rocket like this, this will be just fine. Um, so I'll just take the glue and just lay a bead along the joint. I'll do all of the, the joints. You can see this is creating a little bit of a mess, so have some paper towels are handy. And then what you want to do is to take off about 90% of that glue. It just goes zoop. See, I took off that amount of glue and I smoothed it out. So I just drag it along and you can do on both sides. Any excess glue wipe off. All right, so I've done all of them. So now we want to make sure that the rocket stays horizontal while it dries. Um, if you stand it up vertically like this, all the glue is just going to ooze right off the tube. That's going to be a mess. So make sure that you lay it horizontal to dry. Typically I'll lay it over the edge of the table just like that. That way I know it's horizontal because the tube is flat on the table. So while that's going on, um, the next step is to cut the launch lug in half. Now this is a one inch launch lug and you can see my squares are one half inch wide. So I want to cut this and use a, a sharp hobby knife on this. Again I'm going to use a little sawing motion. Um, it helps to get it started by plunging the point into the tube just slightly. And when I get close, I'll put fingers on both sides because if I don't, this one is going to go shooting right off the table. So then you can see I just slid it in half. Now we'll clean those up with some sandpaper. So just take sandpaper and just do a nice circular motion on it. And then also twist it a little bit. Okay, and then these are going to get glued to the tube, and i got to be very careful here. Uh, one of them is a half inch, and the other one is five inches. So remember, this is our launch lug line. Oops, got the wrong end of the ruler. It's using metric there. Okay, so here's one half inch, and then here's five inches right there. Okay, and that's where the bottom of the two, uh, launch lug is going to go. So we want to attach these like we did the fins. 
I'll just put a thin layer of glue on there. to stick to my finger. Okay, and you want to make sure that you sight along the tube so that the center of the hole runs right along that line and it's not twisted. Because if it's twisted, if you have one like twisted like this way and the other one twisted that way, the launch rod will not go through it. So you have to make sure that your launch lugs are straight, and this is pretty critical. Just like that. Okay, so there's the launch lug there, and there's one there. And I want to make sure that they're I'm looking right through the, the tubes to make sure that they're nice and concentric and I know that they're nice and straight. All right, so I'm going to let that dry and we're going to go on to the nose cone. Now the nose cone is, is a plastic nose cone. Um, to glue it together, you need to either use super glue or plastic model cement. Uh, plastic model cement works by melting the plastic a little bit so that when they go together it, it fuses the plastic. Super glue is more of a, a cement type glue. It doesn't melt the plastic at all. Um, I'm using medium thick glue here so I'm not worrying about splattering it. Just run a little bead of glue on the inside. And then take the shoulder, this is called the shoulder, and just put it in there and give it a twist. I want to make sure pulling it out that I have it nice and wet so I know that it's um, got a good good bond surface area there. So now this um, will attach the nose cone to the shock cord and I'll just tie a slip knot. But you can double knot it. And just like we did before, I'm going to take some wood glue and I'm going to put it on that knot to make sure that that knot doesn't come apart because I don't want the nose cone flying off by itself without the rest of the rocket. I want to keep everything together. Okay, so when that glue dries, it'll be nice and strong. Okay, um, I'm going to let my glue dry. And then in the next video, um, we'll attach the shock cord and start applying the sanding sealer to the fins. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Over here off to the left are some videos that I think you'll enjoy. Um, if you like this video, make sure that you comment on it and also subscribe to our video channel. Uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.